A day like today causes you to look at a relationship and reflect on it. And what stands out to me most about these two is how quickly they decided to go all in on each other, commit themselves to one another as if they knew that this relationship was meant to last. I feel as though every decision I've made in life, good and bad, has led me to this moment. I feel the risks that I've taken, like agreeing to meet you on a blind date, have amounted to the greatest reward I could have dreamed of. And I know that our souls were always destined to meet. And that right now, we are exactly where we are meant to be in this year, on this day, on this island, in this spot. I've had the privilege of watching your love and your relationship grow and mature. But I'm convinced that we're here today for one very simple reason. And that's that you two are both genuinely, truly happy, just talking, drinking beers, and eating hot dogs. Life will bring you its share of adventures and frills, but your ability to find joy in the simple things together is truly a blessing. It's something you guys should cherish, and it's the reason I think that this relationship will last. The goal without a plan is just a wish. After meeting you and starting to really get to know you, I realized the goal was to spend our lives together. So I committed to a plan that was evolving. Today is another piece of that plan, to help us achieve our goal of living happily ever after. You are my partner, my other half, and I will love you from this moment until my last. Maybe once in a lifetime, you find someone who loves you for who you are and not for what you could be. I love you, Christopher Justin Mattis, and I always will with every inch of my heart. Anna, do you take Chris to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Chris? Do you take Anna to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Something better be you And that's something better be you When I first became friends with Anna, I learned about her love of Disney and Disney princesses. I initially found this very odd for an adult. But as I got to know her, I learned that she, much like a Disney princess, is the ultimate lover of love. She loves deeply, she loves passionately, and just like a Disney movie, Anna kissed a few toads in her pursuit of her happy ending. But today I feel confident that she's found her Prince Charming. If I had to panpick anyone in the world to marry my best friend, it would be you. I've admired your love for many years and can't wait to see what's to come for the both of you. So if we could all raise a glass, to happy endings, to love, and to the new Mr. and Mrs. Mattis. Cheers. I would now like to read a poem 
that I wrote for Chris and Anna. We are so honored to be a part of this wedding. What a beautiful place and a special setting. There's no place we would rather be celebrating you two right here by the sea. Raise your glasses and toast to Chris and Anna. Inside the honeymoon sheets, it'll be hot as a sauna. Yeah.